Sorcery next, right? A little we bit? We are, yes. The world of Harry Potter lives on through fans, the books, and the movies, and a Broadway play. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is celebrating five years on Broadway. Mm -hmm. I know, that's amazing. That's an accomplishment. And it's the best-selling non-musical ever. So to take us behind the scenes, we are talking with one of the stars, David Adelis, who plays Ron Weasley. Good morning, David. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Look at that absolutely oh. gorgeous theater behind you. That is spectacular. Yeah, it's a, it's pretty wild. It's been a, it's an amazing renovation that we've done here at the Lyric, and it's really a, a world to walk right into the theater. It's an incredible space. And, and people literally walk right in off the street, and the experience starts right away. That's right. That's right. The minute you walk in the door, it's been designed to make you feel like you're at Hogwarts. You're part of the Wizarding World. Uh, there's amazing AR experiences. Um, you can buy um, some chocolate frogs and a butter beer and some merch and, you know, other food and, and refreshments. And then it, you walk into the, the theater and it's just a beautiful design. Everything from the smallest details, the carpeting, the sconces, and then of course, you know, the grander, uh, the, the, the grander aspects of the theater and the stage itself. It's really a, a beautiful, beautiful space. Hmm. Wow, I mean, it, it, for those who have been, you know, a part of the books and the movies and to have that and not have to go, you know, down to Universal and experience the Harry Potter experience there. That's amazing that you're offering that to showgoers. Uh, yeah, that's right. And that's all before you actually get started with the with the story and all the beloved characters and you get to really dive into, um, a, a, you know, an epic adventure, uh, a, a new epic adventure that you haven't seen on on film before. It's uh, it's only on the stage and we are just thrilled to bring it to audiences every day. We have such great audiences, full houses, and it's incredible. Forbes magazine calls one of, calls the show one of the most defining pop culture events of the decade. That's a pretty remarkable accomplishment. What do you think of that? Uh, I I would have to agree with that. Uh, <laughs> it is it has been an incredible experience. I've been part of the cast since the very beginning. Oh wow! And um, just to see how many how many. Uh, audience members we've gotten to reach and how many young and old just uh, marvel at the show every day the the sounds the gasps from the crowd uh, we have incredible uh, stage effects and also just a really um, touching and moving you know human story even though we are in the wizarding world it's really a it, it's really got something for everyone and it's been a total privilege to be uh, a, a part of this and an honor to carry on the legacy of, of these characters that we all know and love. So for those who don't know, this starts 19 years after the end of the books and movies. Uh, what can people expect from the play uh, and how things, you know, end up playing out there on stage? No pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, uh, as you said, we begin 19 years after the uh, end of the end of the last uh, film or book. And um, what we can expect to see now, uh, Ron, grown up Ron, grown up Hermione, grown up Harry, grown up Draco, and also then the next generation, their their sons and daughters um, embark on their own adventures and their own antics within the Wizarding World and at Hogwarts. Um, you can expect to see, like I said, incredible uh, stage effects, magic on stage. Um, oftentimes, you know, audiences really uh, can't believe their eyes and ask us after the show, how did this happen? How did this happen? Um, it's it's really uh, amazing. But also, it really is just a genuine story about, you know, uh, parents and kids and and life. And it has something really for everyone. It's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible uh, experience at the theater, and I'm just... Uh, honored to be a part of it. All right, David, we're talking to Eric Christopher Peterson coming up a little bit later on in the uh, in our great. great day three. Give us some scoop. Tell uh, tell us something we don't know about him. <laughs> um, I will tell you that Eric Christopher Peterson has an incredible arm and is an amazing shortstop. So <laughs> make sure you ask right. Yeah, he's really into baseball. Go Rockies, wow. is from what I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we can't thank you enough for your time. Thank it's you, real, real pleasure.